Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful, amazing, and awesome day today to be in the house of the Lord right now to magnify and glorify his holy name, to praise him right now, to always put him for his place right now because we serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an old time God. We serve a God who's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Oh man, he is so good. He is so grateful. He is so honest. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy, my brothers and sisters, to always be praised, to always to worship his holy name. Because if it weren't for Jesus, we wouldn't be here right now today. How many of y'all right now today is told Jesus thank you? Now just be honest with yourself. Keep it real with yourself. How many of y'all today told Jesus thank you? How many of y'all today acknowledge who Jesus was today? How many of y'all lift his name over thanksgiving and praise and worship today? Because praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he's still on the throne and he's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day. In the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. Always in the blessing business. And he is so faithful. So faithful, my brothers and sisters. That he can't even deny y'all. He can't fail y'all. And he cannot even change his mind. He keep his words. And he stay on his promises. If you're not too busy right now. Hold up your mouth. And give Jesus some praise in the house of the Lord right now today. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you peacefully, humbly right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for this chance of a lifetime. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we've got to receive, this powerful message today, God, that's going to keep us fully satisfied. Heavenly Father, God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, in your sanctuary, Father God, just lift you up and give you all the things, praise and glory, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for how awesome, how mighty, how powerful you are, God. Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation. Father God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, God, just lift you up with thanksgiving and praise and glorify you and magnify and shout out your holy name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Father God, allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Father God, allow your spirit to navigate and uplift us in this place right now today, Jesus. Oh, God, we know that you're about to show up. Oh, God, we know that you're about to show out. Let your words go out and it should now return back forward, Father God. Oh, Father God, you know exactly what every last one of your children are going through right now today. And Heavenly Father God, I just come before you, Father God, as I kneel down before the throne right now. And I'm asking in your holy, precious, mighty name to touch all my brothers and my sisters right now. Lift them up right now. Soften their heart right now. Speak to them right now, Father God. Console them right now. Let them know right now today, Jesus, that everything is okay, that everything that they ain't got to worry about nothing, nothing anymore. Oh, Father God, we are so thankful, we grateful, we're so honored, Father God, to be in your house today. Father God, today is the day that you have made. We're so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. And Father God, I'm so thankful. I'm grateful, I'm honored and blessed to always fellowship with all my brothers and sisters around the world, around the globe, around the universe today. Him and Father God, we're here today to let you know that we, that we that we are available for praise, that we are available for service, that we are available for the kingdom, that we are available right now today for us to continue to do our Father's work and to do our Father's will. Father God, let the angels join us in praise and worship in your house right now today. Oh, Father God, you have an open invitation. You are invited right now. You are welcome right now in your sanctuary, Father God, in your house right now, on your YouTube channel right now, on your platform right now, in my sister's homes right now, into my sister's life, 
into my brother's home, into my brother's life. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You're invited. You have an open invitation right now today in, in this sanctuary right now, in Jesus' home right now, on Jesus' platform right now, on Jesus' YouTube channel right now, and my brother's homes into my brother's life, into my sister's home, into my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to cry the thoughts of my brothers and my sisters right now so they can hear everything that Jesus is trying to show them and tell them. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to allow my brothers and sisters to catch the Holy Ghost fire, the Holy Ghost spirit right now today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you never moved before. Touch and uplift us like you never touched and uplifted before. Oh God, we just magnify your name in this place. We glorify your name in this place. And Father God, we give you all the thanks. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh man, it's so good to be in the house of the Lord. It's so wonderful, so amazing just to be in his presence right now today. Amen? Amen. Just like praise is an everyday thing. Praying is an everyday thing. Also, repentance is an everyday thing. Because we all fall short of God's grace and mercy. We all make mistakes. And we all mess up. There's no need to try to hide it. There's no need to try to sugarcoat it. There's no need to try to sweep it up under the rug. Because he already saw what took place. He heard what went down when he was already aware of the situation. So if you can't keep it real and be honest with Jesus, you can't keep it real and be honest with nobody. I got to tell you how it is. So I need my keep it real brothers and I need my keep it real sisters right now to join me in praise and repentance right now, if that's okay with y'all. Amen? Amen. Heavenly Father God, I just come before you peacefully and humbly right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm asking your holy, precious, mighty name to please forgive me, all my sisters, all my brothers, for every anything, Jesus, that we've done wrong in the sight of your eyes. Father God, please forgive me, all my sisters, all my brothers, for every anything, Jesus, that we had in our heart that was not part of you. Father God, please forgive me, all my sisters, all my brothers, for every anything, Jesus, that we had in our mind that was not part of your Father's will. Please forgive us, Jesus. Wash us clean right now today, Jesus. Purify us through your blood right now today, Jesus. Wash us as white as snow right now. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for the, for the chance of a lifetime that you give us another opportunity, God. Thank you, Father God, for listening to us. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. You didn't have to do it, but you did anyway. And before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you, Jesus. Before I get started, there's something that's always moved in my spirit about you, Jesus. Before I get started, there's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips. And Father God, I've got to tell you how I really feel about you. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my faith, my trust, my hope in you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I continue to hold on to your unchangeable hands every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for this word, let Jesus say amen. Amen. I want to talk about today that a lot of people that you are close with that you don't look out for, that you don't broke your neck for, they even won't give you your props. They'll give someone else props before they'll give you props. Now the other person ain't done nothing for them. 
and gave them nothing. But they'll brag. They'll boast about them. But when it comes to you, my sisters, when it comes to you, my brothers, they overlook you. Pretend like you ain't nothing. After everything that you don't show them. After everything that you don't do for them. They want to give you your promise. And I know it makes you feel some type of way. And I know you would have thought that that brother of yours, that sister of yours, that husband of yours, that wife of yours, even your parents, family members, whoever, you would have thought they'd be the one that root you on, they give you a problem, say, but look at my son, look at my daughter, look at my husband, look at my wife, look at my mother, look at my father, look at my home, look at my nephew, look at my niece. But then get somebody else props who ain't never done that for them, who ain't never left that for them. Who ain't never gave him a word. It's, it's messed up, right? It's dirty, right? But it's all good, though. Because you ain't got to worry about them giving you your props. As long as Jesus is giving you your props. That's all that matters. And the reason why, my brothers, the reason why, my sisters, they're not giving you your props for what you deserve is because they don't want you to do no better than them. Come on, somebody. Yeah, they don't want you to outshine them. They don't want you to move up the ladder past them. As long as you are below them, it's all good. But the moment you start making moves, start doing something, hey, you'll see who's going to give you your props. See, you'll get props from a stranger before you get from people who you know. You'll get props from a stranger for, they, for a person who will even look out for you. Now, that don't make sense, now, does it? But it is what it is. And it's part of life. It's part of life. Jesus done so much Look out for so many. Show so many signs. Bless so many people. Gave so many miracles. And they never gave, oh help me Jesus. They never gave Jesus his props. After everything that Jesus has done for them, they ain't getting his props. They look down on Jesus. As some of your brothers and sisters are looking down on you. As some of your parents are looking down on you. As some of your homeboys and your homegirls are looking down on you. As some of your husbands or your wives or close relatives or in-laws, they looking down on you. But Jesus said, don't you dare. You look down. You keep your head up. Regardless, they looking down on you. Don't you dare look down on them and don't you dare look down on yourself. Don't worry about if they giving you your props or not. I'm going to give you your props. The reason why they looking down because they don't want you to do better than them, my brothers and sisters. After everything you've done, how you was there for them, how you looked out for them, but they can't even, even look in your eyes and recognize who you are, what you've done, but especially what you've done for them. I know it's cruel. I know it can be devastating. But you ain't the only one that went through it, my sisters. You're not the only one that have went through it, my brothers. We serve a God who went through it way before we did. And they, need, and they did not give Jesus his props at all. So if they didn't give Jesus his props, what's make you think they're going to give you your props? Amen? Amen. So we're going to get into this word. We're going to turn our Bibles to Matthew 27, and we're going to read verse 34. Matthew 27, and we're going to read verse 34. 
3, verse 34. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Death, there, they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with God. But after tasting it, he refused to drink it. Think of this. They all, Jesus asked for something to drink. He just wanted some water because he was so tired carrying that cross. After all of this, after everybody he done looked up for, out of all the miracles he had shown, it was the stranger that helped Jesus pick up that cross. Even though he fell down, he kept back up. But no one that he looked up for, no one who he showed his grace and his mercy to and his favor to, no one gave Jesus his props. But it was a stranger that gave Jesus his props. It was a stranger that recognized him. It was a stranger that said, I got your back. And it always going to be a stranger that's going to do it for you. Instead of giving Jesus water, they gave Jesus vinegar. Vinegar is bitter. It got a real nasty taste. And what they did to you, my sisters, what they did to you, my brothers, when they didn't recognize you, when they didn't, when they looked you down, and when they didn't give you your props, they gave you something bitter. They gave you vinegar. Something had a bad, put a bad taste in your mouth, my brothers. They put a bad taste in your mouth, my sisters. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I don't know who Jesus is preaching to right now. But he said, I know that your husband put a bad taste in your mouth. He said, I know that your wife put a bad taste in your mouth. I know that your son or your daughter put a bad taste in your mouth. He said, I know that your, that your, your mother or your father put a bad taste in your mouth. I know that your uncle and your aunties put a bad taste in your mouth. After everything that you have done for them, they can't even recognize you and what you've done. They put a bad taste in their mouth. Jesus said, but Jesus said, don't worry about the taste that is bitter. Don't worry about they didn't give you your props. Don't worry about how they didn't even recognize you. Because once the vinegar entered to your mouth, it didn't even bother you because you were really equipped with the word and the spirit of God and his presence moving all through you. So if you look at this word, it tell you right here. He said after tasting it, he refused to drink because it doesn't matter what they try to do to him. God, Jesus was not looking at man to give him his props. He knew who he was and what he did, but he knew that his heavenly father gave him his props. He knew that his heavenly father didn't look down on him. He knew that his heavenly father didn't put a bad taste in his mouth. And as long as Jesus is for you, my brothers and sisters, you ain't got to worry about the oh, help me, Jesus. As long as Jesus is for you, you don't have to worry about nobody giving your props. You ain't got to worry about them giving you vinegar. You ain't got to worry about nobody giving you bad taste because it doesn't matter who's against you. As long, as long as Jesus is for you, you're already won. You got your props. Take yourself. You ain't got to give me my props. I already know who gave me my props. You ain't got to root for me. I already know who was rooting for me. You ain't got to clap for me. I already know who is cutting for me. It's all good. And that's how Jesus took He said, it's all good. But it's always going to be a stranger that's going to look out for you. It's always going to be a stranger that's going to give you your props. I don't know who this stranger is, my sisters. I don't know who this stranger is, my brothers. But this stranger recognizes you. 
he and she know exactly who you are. And you don't need a bunch of strangers to give you props. You don't need a bunch of strangers to help you pick up your cross. All you need is that one. Jesus said, you continue to keep your head up. You continue to do good. Because as long as I'm giving your props, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I've been through the same situation, my brothers and sisters. After I made this dramatic change, looking out for a person, and the moment I saw this person eye to eye, this person couldn't even look in my eye. Didn't even give me my props after everything I've done for this person. After I broke my neck, she changed sides on me and switched up the game. She said the other people was better than I was. I didn't get mad. She put a bad taste in my mouth, but it didn't. The taste didn't stay in my mouth. I said after they put the taste in my mouth, the taste did not stay. In my mouth. Because it doesn't matter. If they gave me my props or not. Because as long as the word. Was with me. And not with the word. The word gave me my props. As long as Jesus. Is for me. It doesn't matter. Who's against me. It doesn't matter. Who they was root for. It doesn't matter. If they look me up, up and down. It doesn't matter if they didn't help me pick up the cross or not. Because Jesus sent me a stranger to help me. And I'm here right now today, my brothers. And I'm here right now today, my sisters. I'm here to help you. I'm here today to give you your props. And say congratulations, my sister, in doing what you're doing. Congratulations, my brother, for you to continue to do what you're doing. Do not let that bitter taste affect you on what God has ordained you to do. See, the taste didn't stop Jesus. It didn't bother Jesus because Jesus was on the assignment. Oh, help me, Jesus. He was on a mission. He was on a task. That's why the taste didn't bother him because Jesus was already favored by his heavenly Father God. You was already favored, my sisters. You was already favored, my brothers. I declare and I decree that right now. You was favored. You was ordained. You was anointed before. They did what they did to you. Do not let the bitter taste affect what God has told you to do, called you to do, and chose you to do, my brothers and sisters. And that this word is for you. And you know God is talking to you. Give Jesus his props. And give Jesus some praise. In the house of the Lord right now today. Can you please pray with me. Lord Jesus. I ask of you. To come into our life. To guide us. Direct us. Use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. By us praying that simple little prayer. That God is already working everything. God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is with us.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. You continue to trust him no matter what. You continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands. And don't you dare let it go. You continue to walk with him. You continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Always choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.